stopped at the 7-Eleven and we're having this ivy juice, which is tamarind juice. And, and fructose syrup. Yeah, and there isn't really much that you can get on the road at the moment as far as fruit goes. So this is our backup plan. It helps you stay in the fat burning zone. It's totally like monsoon season here at the moment. We got completely drenched, That's as fine. you can see. Good, but it's good, all right, it was nice. Good for the skin, a bit of rain, rainwater. Yeah, it, it was nice. Pre-breakfast snack here. Freely, oh. checking your face. <laughs> We've got some bananas down here. So these papaya are actually really good. They're, uh, where's the, where's the sticker? Yeah. Martha's Best. Oh, they did well here. The bananas, nice and spotty. Oh, Alright, it's Freely. We'll see you around there. Freely's off to take her class. Give us a wave. And uh, here, a little hand holder. Not, not so bad idea. Water spills out. Close the top. And close the top. There you go. Orange melon. Give that little chunk to the chipmunks. Boom. There is hope. There is hope amongst the chaos. Here we have material girl up here. Don't become a material girl. Become a girl of virtue. We have McDonald's. And next door we have a little vegetarian vegan restaurant. So there's hope. There's hope amongst the chaos. And behind me we have an advert for fruit juice. So there is always hope. Create more YouTube videos. Let's get the message out there. Let's troll society with the health and fitness message, the drug-free fitness, the real health message. Let's do it, man, because the world needs us. So we're fighting the good fight here. Carb the fuck up. Check out this little bad boy found the side of the road. I'm just gonna escort him off. So I get out of YouTube. It's a bit of a metaphor, isn't it? A fat little tubby caterpillar is gonna turn into a beautiful butterfly. That's a, that's a metaphor. People go, oh, I'm a little tubby caterpillar. It's like, hey man, you do the right things, diet and lifestyle, you're that butterfly you always wanted to be. You put that guy on the side of the road, you get you riding. What do you recommend to people trying to meet their goals in weightlifting? Just be consistent. You know, you'd be a crappy lifter, but you just keep in being consistent. What are you benching right now? Well, I did a 300 pound attempt. I had that online, you can check that out. Um, I did that at 148 pounds. So, yeah. Where are you? We're at on some road, some back. I'm in Jackfruit Land. Jackfruit World. Yeah. On the bikes. Now, this is something that I really wish that I could enjoy when I came to, th come to Thailand, and that's Jackfruit. But they tend to like cooking them up. They'd pick it to a green. Yeah, they pick them green and they don't let, yeah, don't let them ripen at all. And they, they usually deep fry them. Yeah. But I love jackfruit. It's definitely one of my favourite fruits, but I can't enjoy it in Thailand and it really annoys me. Because mm. <laughs> there's so many beautiful jackfruit. That's right. <laughs> Cheers. I think I'm getting in trouble. Screw when we came here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here in Times Square, it's classic, this is this Times Square personifies how fucking fake and fucked up this world is. You got McDonald's, you got Disney. This is what this is man, Disney, it's not real. It's not real. None of this stuff's real. Look at behind me some billboard. Just telling you how you should how you should dress, how you should look. They're using photo touched models. <laughs> look at that. The photo touched model. In a certain pose, with certain lighting, it's incredible, it's just not real. Over here we've got some, uh, can you see that? See that box? You can't really see it because the camera's fucking up. We've got two boxes here, both probably are fucking juiced on steroids. Mayweather, Canelo, definitely on the gear. Definitely not full natty bra. Mayweather, definitely not full natty. So this is incredible. Unreal food. Disney, it's just, it's nuts. But. It's good to come here and just realise how people get love distractions. People want to get distracted all the time. It's just all the time, you know. It's like you can't if you if you feel a bit fatigued, drink some coke and uh, get that stimulation in you. It's incredible. But uh, so this is it's really cool. I'm gonna get up here on the bike. It's really cool going to riding around the streets of New York City and just seeing how people love being distracted. You know, it's like. Don't eat too many carbs because you get fat. But look at that skinny guy on the bike smashing down the carbs. It's not nuts. Look at this, it's got 
anything to drink on the bus. <laughs> That's what's about having fun and just seeing the world for what it really is, largely just a big charade where people get really good at things that are really dumb. So once you get back into nature and get a bit more into what's going on, you can start to see that it's not worth sacrificing your whole life to buy shit that really doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Don't work in jobs you hate to buy shit you don't need. Don't waste your whole life to acquire meaningless material crap just to impress people that don't even like you. Out for a run, just ran to the top of the mountain. Check out this view. Check out this view. And we just go over here, back down. That's what it's about, man, getting out there in the fresh air. Just running at a, a talking pace, intensity. Nothing too strenuous, I'll save that for race day. Just get out and get amongst it. So many people want to lose weight and tone up, but they're sitting on the fucking couch. I'll tell you what, to heal your metabolism, you've got to get out there and get some fresh air daily. Nothing hardcore, just get out there. Go for a long walk, go for a jog, go for a bike ride. Just get out there and get amongst it. Oxygenate your cells, please. Right now I'm listening to an audio book about race across America. It's a pretty crazy event and uh, Cruising, fresh air, <sighs> getting the oxygen in. People say, What do you think of Bikram yoga? Bikram yoga in those stuffy, fart and rich rooms. Yes, yeah, some you don't get a workout like this at Bikram yoga. Which way do I want to go? Which way in life? The easy way or well, the most productive way? Let's go up the steep one. Just, just cruising up here, not spinning, just cruising up. Most of people's mistake is they try too hard and then they just burn out. You want to be fit until you're 90 years old. So, unless your program's sustainable, it ain't going to work long term, is it? It won't give you the long term results you're looking for. Let's go up again. So, just cruising out there. But Bikram yoga, too stuffy. You need fresh air. Another thing you can use is a heart rate monitor. I'll try and keep my heart rate under 150 on this run. So now I'm just going to walk a bit, get my heart rate down. Do that. You know, intensity. I only do intensity if you're an experienced athlete. Because all your kidneys and liver, it's put a lot of work on them. So, I don't recommend intensity unless you're really, really conditioned. This is your Urabilla trail. Urabilla, Heisen. There's a race in October on that one. So just cruise around. Have a break, get your heart rate down. Go easy. Go easy for your first two or three years. Don't do intensity because you're not going to be able to sustain it. You're not going to be able to sustain it. But what you can sustain is low heart rate stuff. You, know, you just get a heart rate monitor. The best one is the talking test. If you can talk, you're going easy. If you can talk, you're going easy. <sighs> Fucking love this fresh air. Look at this. This is all about no one's out here. Everyone wants to get fit and lean, but they don't because all the, the trend in Australia right now is eat eat more fat. To cure the obesity epidemic in Australia, eat more fat. It's like, what the fuck? So everyone's fatigued as fuck, running on caffeine. Still can't do fuck all. Look at this world-class trail with no one out here. There's nobody out here. It's a Sunday morning, about 9.30. No one's out here. <laughs> But the vegan for 13 years, the energy deficient vegan, says something, doesn't it? Frilly's out on a bike going for a spin. So just get out there and go easy. Be consistent. But do it consistently over time. That's the secret. That's why I'm so fit. Because my training is so easy, it's easy to do. Diet keeps you slim, sport keeps you toned. So if you want to turn up girls, go move that body. If you don't move it, you won't lose it. If you don't move it, it won't tighten up. Fantastic. All right, get the heart rate down again. 161. Drop back down at 150. To do that, we just walk. 
Settle down. Sit around doing right. I have to remind myself to chill. That's how good I feel. Look at that. So just get outside and move your body. If you got any pain, do not train. Do something else. Otherwise you're gonna get an injury. You'll be losing fitness. You don't want to lose fitness, you want to gain it. Gain, maintain. You don't want to lose it. So train smarter versus harder. If in doubt, just go out there and go easy. If in doubt, go out there and go easy. Top of another mountain. That's what it's about, man. Go into the mountains. Look at another one going, I'm going to go over there. Carbon up so you can get up the mountains in life. Get up the mountains in life. No vehicle access. No vehicle access. Does that mean Duran Rider can't go in there? Because I'm a machine? <laughs> Let's do it. Mouth open, breathing through your mouth. Just getting that oxygen in there. Every single cell in the body is better nourished with judicious exercise. See, I'm not doing anything intense, I'm talking to you. If you were with me right now, I could talk the whole time. Just sucking in the oxygen. And that's the secret, my friends. Go at talking pace. And then after two or three years, you can start doing races and going full on, but just focus on the easy volume, going up hills, get on easy, stop your breath, get your, your breath back, and keep going. Don't turn around, just keep going. Simple as that. Consistency is what we're going for. People focus on quick results. Uh, 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 uh. Took Lance Armstrong 20 years, doing his, 20 years, took Lance Armstrong 20 years of his first Tour de France win. 20 years full time training. And that's with drugs. So, you know, 20 years of training and people want to get hella results in like a year or two. It's not gonna happen, man. You have to be really patient. And just, it's a lifestyle, man. It's not a fucking fad. P90X and shit, Bikram Yoga, that's a fad, man. That's a money-making fad. Running and cycling, that's all, that's just natural stuff, man. You know? They're all natural. Love it, man. Get out there amongst it. This is free. Ask me, why do you live in Adelaide if the food's so expensive and it's, the fruits you know, in Australia are such poor quality? Why do you live there? I've got to be honest with you, I really love the training here. I think the training in Adelaide is the best in the world for running and cycling. Check this out. You know, I've got like unlimited trails here. Unlimited trails and I'm standing on the cliff edge. This is, right now I've got about 100 miles of single track. Around 100 miles of single track to ride my bike or run on. And it's only about a mile from my front doorstep. So it's... I just I love getting out in nature and the fresh air. You can do that in Thailand as well. I guess I've just been in Australia for so long, but I enjoy it. And I can afford it now. So Australia, I really enjoy living here. Thailand, I love as well. And I get the best of both worlds. When it gets too cold here, you just go to Thailand. And then come back here for summer. So do both. We do both. Get the best of both worlds. Check out this view. This little concoction. This is dates and a bit of mixed spice and some ground cinnamon. I used to love soy latte, like chai, mm -hmm. um, when I was working as a personal trainer. Fresh dates in the office. I'm kind of replicating that flavour. That sounds good. It's the Freeza's office desk. <laughs> Fully real. Fully real videos. Bit of compost in the. Is that just yours last night? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit. A little bit slow on the old clean up today. That's all good.